Flyers, I'm Carrington Carter. And I'm Stander Olson. And you're watching the rundown for the week of January 13th, 2023. You may have seen some familiar faces on campus last Friday. The class of 2022 came back to Loyola to give our seniors some insight on how to prepare for college. Sarah Ellis Genovese recaps this event. Some of our graduated class of 2022 came back this past Friday to give our seniors a look into what college is like. Today was a lot of fun. We got to come talk to the seniors about what college is like and give them, you know, all the details and everything. It was so much fun being able to see all my friends and being alumni is pretty cool. It was really fun to get to talk to the seniors about our personal experiences in college so far and to give them some tips and make sure that they don't make the same mistakes we did and just to make sure that they have a, the best first semester that they can have. I am so excited I got to come back to Loyola and share some advice about college. College can be a really big transition period but if you have like a little prior knowledge it really helps out a lot and I'm glad to share my knowledge with everyone else. We had the college panel today. It was a lot of fun getting to talk to the seniors about all things college. Yeah, we tried to give them some advice and help them out from what we've learned uh, through our first semester and hopefully they learned something from us. It was very nice that they took the time to come and talk to us about their college experiences. And it was really nice to be able to freely ask uh, personal questions and like hear about their personal experiences. I really enjoyed the panel. It was nice walking in and seeing some familiar faces and they taught us stuff and showed us stuff that we needed to know for college and it's really going to help us uh, next year. I really like learning about like the food plans especially, like knowing that like you can manage your money. That was a lot of really insightful information that I really needed before I went to college. So, um, I enjoyed hearing the class of 2022 speaking. It was um, really fun and they gave a lot of good information for um, college next year. So. Yeah, they definitely gave a lot of good tips and it was nice seeing all of my best friends again coming to share their college life. So, yeah. Thank you class of 2022 for the advice. I'm sure our seniors feel more prepared for the transition. This has been Sarah Ellis Genovese. So happy to see the class of 22 back on campus. We've got some mad scientists splitting atoms here at Loyola. Collier White is here to investigate. This week, our students finally presented their science fair projects that they've been working on since the beginning of the school year. Here are some of the students to present you with their final projects. Our science fair project tested to see if chewing bubble gum would increase test scores and I had a lot of fun with Trip Romer and Collier White. For my science fair project, Savannah Smith and I did an experiment on if women's menstrual cycles sync up or not and we concluded that women in close proximity of each other do usually sync up. For my science fair project, we tested the bacteria present in public restrooms in the hand air dryer and it was super interesting. Um, I loved I'm um, just getting to go and research this topic and I had just a lot of fun doing it. For Science Fair, I created an inventory system to track the filament for the 3D printers in our 3D printing lab and I had a bunch of fun at Science Fair. I was super excited to be a judge. I thought there were some really great projects, some great explanations. They did a really good job. It was fun to watch and see all the hard work that they put into it. Thank you for sharing all your projects. Congratulations to the winners and good luck at regionals. This has been Call Your White. Thanks, Collier. I didn't know Loyola students were so genius. Hey, Stander, can you believe it's your last semester at Loyola? You know, I honestly can't. Time really does fly when you're having fun. Ella Turner shares some of our other seniors' thoughts. I can't believe it's already our last semester of the school year. I wonder how the seniors feel about it being theirs. My last semester here at Loyola is bittersweet. Um, it's been a fun four years, but I'm excited and looking forward to the future, and I'm grateful for everything Loyola has done for me. I'm sad to leave Loyola, but I'm excited to go to college. I'm also really excited to go to college, but I'm going to miss Hannah. <laughs> I'm not really sure where I'm going yet, but I'm really excited and I'm really grateful that I was at Loyola and I know I'm going to miss everyone. I'm really excited to leave for college next year. We're, we're excited, excited, but we're going to miss Garrett so much. It's our last semester of high school and we're really excited, but it's kind of bittersweet. Yeah, I don't think it's hit me that this will be my last year playing high school sports, but I'm ready to graduate. Same. Well, I kind of feel like um, this being our last semester, it's kind of freeing in a sense, and also kind of feels like it, it shouldn't be here this quickly. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. 
I'll be traveling pretty far from here, so I'm very excited to start a new journey in a new place and have new opportunities. We know Loyola has prepared us really well, and we can't wait to soak up this last semester. You know, it's, uh, it's bittersweet, but uh, I'm going to miss my close friends, and, but I'm excited to go to college. We sure will miss our seniors next year. This has been Ella Turner. I know we're all excited to see what our futures hold. Loyola sports have been on a roll recently. Savannah Smith looks into the soccer and basketball seasons. Hey Flyers, our Loyola sports teams have hardworking athletes behind them. This week, we highlight Caleb Branch and his basketball journey from freshman to senior year. Not only is Caleb Branch an important scorer for the boys basketball team, this senior point guard is like a coach on the floor. Caleb contributes to the team by really being the engine that kind of makes us go. Uh, he does a great job of getting past his defender and really getting to the paint and collapsing the defense and then kicking out to our shooters or dropping off to our big men for, for easy baskets. Caleb's a leader on and off the court. I mean, you know, he's, he's a great guy. You, know, he's, you, he's, you get to know him and I mean, he's quiet at first, but once you get to know him, he's one of the funniest people you'll know. Caleb absolutely over the years has got in my head, if you, so to speak, and he's definitely a coach out there on the floor. And, and that's just developed over the last three years, really. Um, every year he's gotten better and better, and now sometimes he'll even call the play that I'm thinking of before I call it. I never worry about getting inside Coach Harbour. Coach Sean Farber said too much. My game has improved more by being a vocal leader, sharing the ball and scoring the ball as much as I can during my years here at Loyola. My goal for the rest of the year is to get the highest seeding for playoffs and try to win state. Our Flyer basketball fans, thank you for your hard work, Caleb. Now it's time for the updates for our Loyola Sports. Branch had 11 points Tuesday night as the Flyers defeated Minden 40-37. The boys and girls will return to the Flyer gym Friday night against Northwood. The boys soccer team has a huge game tonight. They take on Caddo Magnet at 745 at Mesmer Stadium. The boys are coming off a 4-2 win against Evangel earlier this week as Casey Wall had two goals, Tyler Hornsby and Henry Wong each had one. The girls soccer team beat Evangel Tuesday for their first district win. Caitlin McNeil and Ainsley Matlock each had a pair of goals. Next week will be senior night for both teams on Tuesday night, and the girls will have a big match Wednesday against Bird at Mesmer Stadium. Congrats, everyone, for another successful week. This has been Savannah Smith. Keep up the great work, Flyers. That concludes this week's rundown. See, See you next week. week.